In question 31, we're given two equations. The first equation, y equals minus a over x, and the second equation, y equals x minus b all squared. I'd like to refer to these as functions because we're going to be sketching. If I call this function, or rather, if I call a similar function, f of x, how would I transform this into this? It would be minus a f of x. This one, I'll call something similar g of x. I'm going to say g of x is x squared. So to get to this, I would have to have g of x minus b. And that would be x minus b squared. If we look at those transformations for a moment, here we have x and x, and in the respective places, x minus b and x minus b, which makes what we want. So that's the transformation that we need to turn x squared into x minus b all squared. And the transformation to turn 1 over x into minus a over x is this. Now that's useful because if we start off with the well-known graphs, y equals 1 over x or y equals x squared, we can transform these using these transformations to get what we're after. So, first of all, it says in the question to plot these or to sketch these on the same axes. 1 over x looks like this. If I apply this transformation, it's going to affect the y values, causing a reflection in the x-axis. This equation would normally look like this, but we're doing this transformation. That's going to shift it to the right. The point where it touches the x-axis will translate to a point over here from 0 b units to the point b. This point will be b. That's relatively easy to determine because it was at 0 and it's moved b across and 0 plus b is b. What's slightly harder to calculate, but not particularly difficult, is this intercept here. At this intercept here, we're on the y-axis, therefore the x value will be 0. If I substitute that in, x is 0, I will have 0 minus b, so just minus b, squared. Minus b squared is b squared. And that will be the coordinate of the y-intercept. In part b, before we move to part b, sorry, a quick note on our first equation. It had no axis intercepts when it was trans before it was translated and also none after it was translated because it was a reflection. Therefore, there's none to label. I also just want to label this curve as, curve as well. So, on to part B. In part B, it says, using your sketch, state the number of real solutions to the equation x brackets x minus 5 squared equals minus 7. Now, if I was to rearrange this slightly, you can see that this side of the equation is in the same form 
as we have here. And this side of the equation is in the same form that we have here. Since this intersection would be as a result of these two equations being made equal to each other, or rather this expression and this expression being made equal to each other, we can conclude from the fact that this is in the form of those two being made equal to each other, that there would be one solution. One real solution, because only one intersection on the graph. And that's part B answered.